So I give my NFL predictions, and then the Constitution has like 26 amendments. I give myself two amendments. I've already done one three weeks ago. So this is the day, the day before the season starts, that I do my second amendment, and this is final. These are my final NFL predictions. But for the first time ever, something's happening. So let me get into a little story before I present why. So um, you see this happen a lot of times in sports. In the NBA, it became a three-ball shooting league. And the teams that pivoted to that very quickly, like Golden State or Daryl Morey's Houston Rockets, kind of separated from the league doing that. And it's hard to play catch-up. In baseball, there was always the teams that spent $30 million a year on payroll, and the Yankees would spend $110 million. Well, the difference now is there's so much money in baseball, there's so much money globally and in America now, that the teams at the top are spending $250 million. There's seven teams, White Sox are close, seven teams at $200 million. So the best teams in baseball are so much better than the bottom five or six teams in baseball. It's a have-have-not sport. This is happening a little in the NFL. Because of cultural changes in America, the quarterbacks are better than ever, earlier than ever. They come right out of high school. They're ready to play Caleb Williams in college. Uh, they're really ready to play Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Kyler Murray. They're ready to play right in the NFL, Joe Burrow. And so quarterback play is better than ever. And because the league has pivoted to offense for player safety, the league's becoming a little have and have not. If you have a great quarterback, every great quarterback in the league except Justin Herbert made the playoffs. And he came down to a, a drive away from making the playoffs. If you don't, you're a total have not. So for the first time ever in my amendments, I don't have any. I honestly think this is the easiest year in some time. And again, I'm not going perfect. But I believe four teams clearly have the best roster in their division. Buffalo, Philadelphia, Buccaneers, and the Rams maybe have the second best roster. But owner, GM, coach, quarterback, AAAA. And I feel the bottom teams, Bears, Seahawks, Falcons, Texans, either are tanking or are, are obviously, they, they're not good enough at quarterback at this point to be anything but a, but a last place team. So here again, I do believe the NFL, I don't love this, is becoming a little have and have nots. If you do not have a quarterback ready to sling it with a Joe Burrow and a Justin Herbert and a Kyler Murray, you're just not going to be very viable. So in the AFC East, let's go AFC East. I'm going to stick with what I believe. Bills, Dolphins, Patriots, Jets, Zach Wilson out for a month. I feel even stronger about that. Dolphins do sneak their way into the playoffs. AFC North, I think it's going to be a Bengals-Ravens division. If the Ravens won and Bengals second, but I think the Bengals end up being a playoff team in a weapons league, they are stacked. Ravens are going to be in a playoff chase, I believe, to the final weekend of the season. Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, Browns. AFC West, best division in football, hard to argue. Everybody can make the playoffs. Broncos, Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders. Raiders again in the playoff hunt late. I just don't like the back end of their defense. I think Denver is going to be the Tampa Bay of a couple of years ago. You're not going to understand how good the roster is until you see them with a great quarterback, Brady to the Bucks, Russell Wilson to Denver. And finally in the AFC South, weak division. Keep your eye on the Jags, surprising people. The Titans lost their best pass rusher. O-line's a bit of a mess. Lost their best receiver from a one seed to second in their own division. Again, the Jaguars could be sneaky and win nine games. But I'll take the Colts. I don't see. I, I wish they had another dependable big-time receiver. They're going to win ugly and low scoring a lot. But I like everybody there. I like Matt Ryan. I like the coach. I love the GM. I like the owner. I just think they have the most questions and the fewest, uh, most answers and the fewest questions. I'm not going to change anything. All right, now, let's go to the NFC. I'm going to stick with it. I thought Washington had a really bad offseason. I think Brian Dable makes Daniel Jones competent on more Sundays. Eagles, best roster, best momentum, best offseason. Dallas, O-line now, is bad, at least until Tyron Smith comes back. Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, Commanders. NFC North. 
Been saying this for six months. Minnesota shocks the league. 13 win team wins the division. I think they're stacked offensively, uh, and they're better on defense with Zadarius Smith. Packers do not have a number one receiver. It's supposed to be Alan Lazard. He may not play in the opener against the Vikings. Detroit's got some offensive pieces I like. The Bears, I think, are going to be a bit of a mess. A defensive rookie coach with a young quarterback. Vikings, Packers, playoff teams. NFC West. I Rams are going to win it. Seahawks are last place. Niners, Cardinals, I want to watch it. But Kyler Murray doesn't have the help Trey Lance does. That, to me, looks like Niners, Cardinals both get into the playoffs. They could end up tying. I feel strongly about the Rams and the Seahawks, top and bottom. Those two will battle to the very end. And the NFC South, again, I think the Buccaneers have real issues on the offensive line. They're not a dominating team. They're a playoff team. The Saints will once again play the Buccaneers tight, but I don't know if their defensive coach is the guy he bombed the first time out, and Jameis Winston's a guy that makes too many mistakes. Carolina will be plucky and competitive. Again, it's a rebuilding roster, and Atlanta is virtually tanking without actually tanking. So that is what I see. No amendments. You got my top, you got my bottom, there you go. Hold me to it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.